Good evening. Good evening, everyone. It's one day more past, and Jesus has been blessing us with a wonderful and shiny day. And I think we're going to have a wonderful evening with a very shiny sun. And I hope all of you had the opportunity to go out and have some time before you're going to bed, because it's a wonderful evening. Um, today we, you know, we're going to continue with the parabolas, and I, I think uh, it's, it's good to meditate it in, you know, what Jesus said, what he tried to teach us. And today we got some that we're going to read is Psalm 128. 128. And the parable that we're going to see today is in Luke chapter 10, verse 9, verse 29 to 37. So taking, you know, the time now, you know, to who had this encounter with, with Jesus. We're going to pray together, a wonderful song together. We're going to worship him and we're going to call him to come to us and to rescue us and be with us. So we're going to start that, you know, that beautiful moment together and, and, and call him to us. And um, let's start it. Oh God, may a speed to saving us. Oh Lord, may it to help us. In your resurrection, oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you the glory and praise forever. From the deep water of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life and triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvelous light, may our light reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That this evening may we be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer reads before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our heart and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's pray to, you know, to God lets us free to see him today. Our first psalm is in 1-2-8, 128. And it's a beautiful blessing from King David. And it says, How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. Blessed are all those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. You should eat the fruit of the toil of your hands. It should go well with you and happy should go be. Your wife within your house should be like a fruit wine. Your children around your table like fresh olive branch. Those should the one be blessed who fear the Lord. The Lord from out of Zion bless you that you may see Jerusalem in prosperity all days of your life. May you see your children, children, and may there be peace upon Israel. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. O Christ, our true wine, may we your branches be of 
be ever fruit in you service and share your love and peace with all the children in the power of the spirit and to the glory of the father amen they be say bless are all those who fear the lord and walk in his way amazing that is a blessing from david and our parable today is in luke chapter 10 verse 29 from 29 to verse 37 but wanting to justify himself he asked jesus and who is my neighbor jesus replied a man was going down from jerusalem to jericho and fell into the hand of robbers who stripped him beat him and went away leaving him half dead now by chance a priest was going down that road and when he saw him he passed by on the other side so likewise a levite when he came to the place and saw him pass by on the other side but samaritan were traveling come near him and when he saw him he was moved with pity he went to him and bandaged him his wood having poured oil and wine on them then he put him on his own animal brought him to to an inn and took care of him the next day he took out two denarii give them to the innkeeper and say take care of him and when i come when i come back i will repay you whatever more you spend which of these three which of these three do you think was the neighbor to the man who fell into the hand of the robbery he said the one who showed his mercy jesus said to him go and do likewise wow uh, my meditation for today <laughs> is asking myself and asking you who is my neighbor who is your neighbor and it's three different person people here and the first one symbol is the symbol of of the authority of the religion and the spirituality and he he passed by to the other side and the other one is the symbol of the people that serve to the lord the levites choose people important people in in israel and the same he passed by on the other side. They, they, you know, didn't want to compromise. Then decided to ignore him. He say, no, no, I am busy. No, maybe he's deaf and I need to go to the police. I don't want no compromise. But hey, a Samaritan. I know some of you know that Samaritan and just people then you know then didn't like each other. The Samaritan, who was that Samaritan? Samaritan is not one of us. <laughs> that Samaritan wasn't one of us. He was then was outsider. But the Bible says that he saw, he got close, he went to him, he got close. And he bending him and taking him with him, giving him money and his time, taking him to a special place and they take care of him. That guy was dying and he taking care of him. So who is your neighbor? 
Jesus asked, who is your neighbor of that tree? That's the man that was asking, say, well, the one that has mercy. The one that has mercy. And Jesus said, simple, go and do the same. You go and do the same. No, ignore it, you people. Who is your neighbor? It's a big question for us today. My neighbor, where is that, people? Sometimes we, you know, we believe we have all the truth and we are wonderful people and we are so holy and we are so blessed. And we ignoring the people that are suffering. And we see so many other people, so many Samaritans helping. And we believe we are better than them. But hey, Jesus said, go and do the same. What happened with food bank in that day? What happened with doorway? What happened with uh, you know, charities? What happened? Is we asking, where is our neighbor? They, they are all around us, people that need us. No pass by to the other side. Get closer. See what happened. Add in. Help. Give them what you have. If you don't have money, give you time. If you don't have any others to give you prayer, but no ignoring your neighbor. Because Jesus is called us to add in, to help them. Maybe that's priest and that Levite, they were thinking they were so busy, so important, serving God. But then didn't was, but then didn't, you know, serving the, the guy that was dying. Then they ignore the Samaritan. Boy, we don't know if it's the Samaritan, but they, he, they ignore the guy that was in the floor. But the Samaritan, he go closer. He take care. He got involved. He compromised his time. But maybe it was dangerous. But he compromised. But he did because he had a heart. And this is my reflection for today. Where is my neighbor? And maybe I need to check if it's in my house. We have a neighbor that we need to talk with. Maybe we need to extend our hand to someone today. Maybe you need to do a call and asking, how are you? How do you feel today? Where is your neighbor? Don't ignore it. Don't pass by to the other side. Go and get closer. Go and try to help. That's what God called us to do. And today we, we're going to worship God. We're going to pray. And, and I want you just thinking about, you know, how good Jesus has been done for us. And all the time that we are spending, try to do the will of God, and we don't see our neighbor. Jesus is calling us to see our neighbor today. I know the, 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 the afternoon, the evening is coming, the night will be coming. Taking time to thinking about who is my neighbor, and it's, you know, is my neighbor a need? Is my neighbor a need? He need me today and doing for the Lord. So I'm going to pray together today and ask that we're going to watch in God. And uh, we we taking all that and you harm and giving to him, giving all the glory, all the honor and asking God, please show me my neighbor. My neighbor today who need something from me today. Let's pray. Loving God, you are the sources of everlasting light. Enlight our way today so we can see our neighbor. Put your love in our heart. Fill us with your love and compassion so we 
can follow the, the path of the Samaritan. So we can give our time, our money, our everything that we have to help our neighbor. Lord, I pray today that you open our eyes and we can see who is in need today. Not only, Lord, the neighbor outside of our house, but the neighbor that live with us. We need to see the people that is in need. We need you, we need your eyes, we need your hands, so we can help the other people. So we can take it as people to the inn and pay for him to be care. We need to have the love of you in our heart, oh God. Lord, thank you because one day you taking us, you call us on up, you call us from the darkness and you did what the good Samaritan did. You rescue us. You're giving us your love and your time and you're giving you, you, your life for us in the cross. Help us to understand that, Lord. Help us to understand that you need us. Thank you, Lord, for your generosity. Thank you for the way that you're giving us every day what we need. So we want to give from that, Lord, to all the people. We want to give into all the what you have been giving to us. Lord, I pray today that you teach us and you show us who is my neighbor. I want, Lord, to serve in you. I want to, to go with you in a way to serving other people. I want to be your eyes. I want to be your hands. I want to call people to you with my example. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. We bless you and we glorify your name today, Lord. We bless you and we glorify you. And we're going to continue worshiping you with that song. Then we, we want to watch and we want to worship you with all our heart, with all our mind. Help us, Holy Spirit. Come to us and help us to continue the way that you have been teaching us, Lord. Thank you. We're going to see now the song together and we're going to express all our heart to the Lord. And we're going to say to him, you are everything that I need. And we're going to say thank you to him for everything that he has been done to us. So let's sing that song together.
Now we're going to finish praying the Lord prayer. And when you are praying today, the Lord prayer, thinking about your neighbor. Think about who is the neighbor that needs you today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven giving us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy with your family or with friends, and God bless you.